All right, my friends, so just to follow up on the Vanguard Intermediate Bond Fund idea, I just looked at it. Right now, it's yielding 2.12. Uh, last year, is up 1.35 or something like that, so not a great year. But actually, I was surprised it was in the positive, given that the interest rate cycle uh, worked against bond funds. Uh, the interesting thing about bond funds, and I, I'll repeat this again a million times a Sunday. I'm out here doing some grilling. Uh, we're going to make a grilled chicken parmesan oh, with mozzarella cheese. Oh. Anyway, uh, the interesting thing about bond funds is that the price per share last year fell like 16 cents. So, on a, you know, I think it's 65 bucks a share roughly. It was down 16 cents from the beginning of the 1 January till December 31st, 2018. So the price per share dropped by 16 cents. Not much. Uh, whatever 16 cents is on roughly 64 bucks. I, I just don't know. But the yield was high enough to recoup the loss of, of the net asset value. So on a bond fund, the net asset value drops. If the yield is higher than the drop of the net asset value, they have a positive return, which is exactly what happened last year. The last three years, the intermediate bond fund has done nothing. I mean, it's like up 1%, one and a half, one and three quarters, something like that. So nothing. And so uh, you're not, and the point about that is because the yields have been so low. As I said a million times a Sunday, bonds are simple to figure out. You're going to get your yield. That's what you're going to get. On any given year, you might get a little bit more of the yield, more than the yield. You might get a little bit less, like what happened last year. The yield was higher than the drop in price, price appreciation, but the yield, which made it uh, have a positive return, but because the yield uh, wasn't very much to begin with, uh, all it took was a little bit of a price to you know drop to keep the returns very, very minimal, that's for sure. Uh, but still, I mean, it was up last year, and I was, was the S&P 500, I don't even know what the S&P 500 was, so I, I don't know. So at the end of the day, that's how bond funds work. If the price is up, Let's say, I mean, the price is down 2%, but you're getting a 3% yield, you're going to have a net return of 1%. That's exactly how it works. At some point, it's going to go the other way around because bonds all mature at par. In this case, it's $1,000 a bond or $10,000 a bond, whatever it is. Anyway, so right now, it's, the yield is 2.12, all right? The, uh, the last year, was it was down. Uh, it was up. Uh, the total return was about one. I think it was one and a half or something like that. So 2.12 is what you're getting on that. Uh, will you get more as a price appreciation? Yeah, probably will, actually. I would think that you might see a little bit more appreciation in a share price. Uh, who knows? But, I mean, let's just say you might pick up another one half of one percent maybe if even that maybe a quarter of a percent so let's just say the yields on the bonds we'll just say 2.12 right now and you're gonna get uh one quarter of one percent so you're probably looking at two and a half percent rate of, and maybe two and a quarter percent rate of return we're all said and done you know anywhere between two and a half two to two and a half i think is that worth uh, moving your cash into that i would think so if your cash in the money market isn't paying anything like that absolutely now if you have a stable value fund uh through your 401k or something like that that's giving you a two and a half with no downside risk or the G fund and the TSP, you'd be crazy not to take advantage of that. I mean, that's again, for your safe stuff, your risk averse investments, but for your, uh, you know, your aggressive stuff, that's not what you want. But if you're a risk averse investor and you're sitting on cash and again, I don't know what CDs are doing, maybe a three year CDs paying 3%. That still has attraction to me. I, I'm just telling you right now, if I'm risk averse and I want to make sure I get a return on money and a return of money, both. I want to get a return of both things. I don't want to lose, but I'd want to get a return on my money and at least enough to beat the rate of inflation. A three-year CD at 3%, if that's what you can get, is pretty good to me, without question. Not making any money after taxes and inflation. You're going to be breaking even, but breaking even is better than losing money. So just wanted to give you an update on that. As you can see, I'll be doing more and more of these little short clips uh, as uh, because, as I said, one of the reasons I want to stop taking clients was do more videos, do more research, write more books and stuff. So stay with me. We'll be doing a lot more as the, as the years go on. <laughs> we'll see you. Bye-bye.